Okay, in this session we're going to cover several more basic commands. Uh, the first ones I wanted to touch on are the cursor keys, the up and down arrow. Uh, if you hit the up arrow, you'll see that you can actually scroll through some of your um, history of recent commands. And actually, if you type in the word history, which I'm going to do here, you can find that it will list the last, uh, in this scenario, 1037 different commands. Uh, that were done on this system. So the up and down arrows, uh, like you see here, I'm actually hitting the up arrow and I'm scrolling up through the list of commands there. Um, it's a pretty useful tool if, you've, if you're doing um, several commands in a row, maybe the same thing or maybe a slight difference uh, between them so that you don't have to keep typing in the entire line again. You can actually just hit the up arrow. Uh, if you find that you went too far, you can hit the down arrow and scroll back down, or you can get all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so that's the up and down cursor keys. Pretty uh, handy tools to use um, when you're in this command line interface, um, along with the history command, of course. All right, the next command we're going to cover is actually the chone command, which is change ownership. Uh, I'm just going to type in chone, and you're going to see here that it says, well, you need you need dash dash help for more info. Um, I already know the syntax of this, uh, this command, so I'm actually going to do a chone. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change ownership, uh, and let me show you first which file we're going to touch. We're going to go see this last file down here on the bo bottom here that's called zapata.conf. Um, it's actually right now currently owned by root uh, because root created the file. So root is the owner and root is the group. So that's what these two mean. We want asterisk to have control of that file. Okay, so I'm going to do change ownership. So chone and then I'm going to type in asterisk as the owner. And then a little colon and asterisk again as the group and the name of the file. So, and I'm going to hit the tab key to actually uh, auto fill that in. We covered that in the last session. So, um, I hit enter. And now, if I hit LL, you'll see that um, the owner is going to change from root here to asterisk. And it did, in fact, do that. So now you see it's asterisk. It's actually asterisk and asterisk. Okay. Um, another thing we want to do to this file. Uh, I noticed that it's actually um, the attributes are set to read write uh, for the owner, read for a group, and read for everyone else. We want it to be the same as the file above it, which is read write, read write, and read. So uh, a command line tool to do that is called change mod or change mode. So change mod. Uh, in this scenario, um, you can. Uh, I'm just going to show you 777 and what it does, and then uh, Zapata. And those are, um, you can look up what these numbers mean and how they work um, in Google uh, in your spare time. But uh, 777 actually turns on every um, bit so that uh, you see here now it says read, write, execute, read, write, execute. So we don't want at this file to actually be executable. So I'm going to go ahead and change it back to what we're looking for, which is actually 664. So I hit the up arrow twice, and then I hit the cursor key back. Uh, so I don't have to type in this whole command again, which again, like I said, hitting the up arrow, pretty handy. And then you can always use the cursor key to scroll over to the left. All right. So now you'll see that actually LL again shows now this is the way I wanted that Zapata.com file to look. Read, write, read, write, and read. Okay. Um, some more useful tools. We can do copy. Um, CP is the copy command. Let's see. I want to copy this Zapata file. So I hit tab to autofill it, and now I want to copy it. I just want to change the name slightly. So I hit tab again, which autofilled the name, and now I actually should have two copies of that file right there. And as you can see, I do. Uh, of course, the one is actually set up with the default attributes and owned by root because root just created it, and that's who I'm logged in as. So um, another thing we can do with that file we can actually move it. So I can type in move uh, MV. Uh, I can start out with Zapata here again. I can type in the dot one and I want to actually, I'm going to move that file to the ETC folder. So uh, be aware 
when when you use the move command it does actually remove it from the folder you're in and as you'll see right now if I hit LL see it's no longer here uh, but if I change directory down to etc you'll see or actually up to etc you'll see that uh, it's now in this folder and there it is down at the bottom so that is the move command uh, one more command we're going to cover here real quick rm is remove so I actually want to get rid of this file that I created so I hit ZA, hit tab, and it autofills the name, and it's going to say, are you sure you want to delete this file? Yes. I hit the Y key, and now if I hit long list, it is gone. That file is gone. So that's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching.